I want to bring in now Sam Mednick from the Associated Press, who is live for us in Jerusalem tonight. Sam, tensions are rising. Any updates you can give us from the ground where you are? Well, tensions are rising, and there is this increased offensive into Gaza, particularly around Gaza City. The Israeli military has said that they are going to be in Gaza City within the next 48 hours. They see this as Hamas's epicenter and as the place where there is the biggest infrastructure. In addition to this ground offensive, they are continuing to conduct airstrikes. And on Sunday, the Ministry of Health in Gaza said that two refugee camps were hit, more than 53 people were killed, and dozens of people were injured. Israel didn't respond to that particular attack. However, they say that Hamas uses these camps and this infrastructure to conduct their operations and that they use civilians as human shields. On Sunday, the military said that it had new evidence that Hamas was using hospitals to conduct its operations as a cover, and it showed journalists what it said was videos and images of what it said were hospitals with militants coming in and out of it, as well as what looked like a tunnel at the beginning of a hospital where the militants were using it for their operations. While Israel is conducting attacks on Gaza, there are still being attacks from Hamas into Israel. Right here where I'm standing now earlier this evening, we saw rocket fire to the west of Jerusalem that appeared to be intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome. And Sam, essentially there is nonstop rocket firing daily on the Lebanese border, um, some coming from Hezbollah. How concerning is it um, for Israelis on the ground that this fight will expand to multiple fronts? There is this growing concern that is going to expand to multiple fronts. It will expand regionally. Since the beginning, there has been daily fire between Hezbollah and Lebanon and Israel, and it has been expanding. Today, on, on Sunday, there were reports that four people in Lebanon were killed and one person on, in an Israeli border town was also killed. I've spoken to some people in some of the border towns. They have said that they're living in fear. They are hearing rocket fire in towns that they hadn't heard before. And thousands of people have evacuated cities in anticipation that it could escalate. That said... Both sides have kept it under control until now. There is a feeling that there is necessarily neither side wants to escalate it. But as the areas of operation expand, more civilians could get killed. And that is something that conflict analysts say could escalate the potential for further violence. Okay. Sam Mednick, live from Israel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.